His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace his Majesty the King's personal representative, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in the presence of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and national security advisor, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Court Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General, Diab bin Sagar Al Naimi. The meeting focused on the general regional situation and discussed a number of local issues, including the intensification of efforts to push the comprehensive development process forward in order to increase national achievements and enhance Bahrain's progress to continue growth and prosperity for citizens and strengthen the kingdom's international status. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Shura Council, the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ministries, Public and Private Institutions, the citizens and residents for their efforts and noble feelings they had expressed on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national days and all the festivities they had held which reflected their patriotism, authenticity and loyalty, extending thanks to all the well-wishers on the national occasions. The Bureau of the Council of Representatives held its meeting headed by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Msallam. The Bureau has affirmed parliamentary support for continuing constructive cooperation with the government to adopt qualitative initiatives that contribute to consolidating the Kingdom's comprehensive development process, especially regarding the housing projects and services to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King. The Bureau extended sincere appreciation and gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for attending the inauguration of the East Sitra housing project held under His Royal Highness's patronage, reflecting the constant interest in providing housing services to the citizens according to the best standards, as well as in meeting the needs of Bahraini families. The Bureau also discussed a number of parliamentary topics and approved the agenda of the Representatives Council upcoming meetings. The first episode of the third season of the reality television show Biban, produced by The Hope Venture, aired after achieving success in previous seasons. In its third season, the reality show Biban gives 41 companies from various countries of the Middle East and North Africa the opportunity to present their projects to a committee of regional investors with the aim of obtaining financing and investments in exchange for shares in their companies and accelerating the growth of their businesses. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced that the festival city attracted over 100,000 visitors showcasing the success of Celebrate Bahrain. The Celebrate Bahrain included family, musical, cultural and sporting events held across various governorates of the kingdom for a month in collaboration with various partners coinciding with Bahrain National Days. The Celebrate Bahrain concluded with a successful celebration with nearly 7,000 people at Water Garden City 21,800 at Marasi Al Bahrain. The event also saw a large presence in Bahrain Bay, Bahrain Harbor, Financial Center, Bahrain Fort, Bahrain National Museum, and Al Najma Club. The Minister of Tourism, Fatma bin Jafar Al Sayrafi, said the public turnout was remarkable, particularly in the festival city events and closing celebrations. She praised the program for exceeding the expectations and enriching the experiences of the citizens, residents, tourists, and visitors. The minister expressed gratitude to the guests and participants in Celebrate Bahrain, as well as supporting bodies and partners. Minister Asayrafi emphasized the responsibility to provide innovation and diversity in the tourism programs, enriching the tourist season and organizing more events throughout the year. For his part, the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaidi, highlighted the diverse activities during Celebrate Bahrain and the exclusive promotions that successfully attracted a large number of tourists from around the world, which offered various tourism events and activities to cater to all the tastes. The effective partnership between the government and the private sector represents one of the pillars that contribute to achieving sustainable development goals. The private sector is a vital and active partner with Team Bahrain and contributes to supporting development paths. The partnership contributed 
to the success of the Bahrain holiday season, boosting the national economy. With the beginning of the new year 2024, the government continues to strengthen the cooperation paths with the private sector to build a bright future for Bahrain and its people. These efforts are evident in the economic recovery plan that proceeds through its strategies in order to strengthen the economic situation and maintain Bahrain's reputation as an ideal destination for investment, in addition to the major projects that have been and will be implemented in partnership between the two sectors. This partnership affirms that citizens are the focus of national development by creating jobs and contributing to enhancing social and economic stability, which in turn enhances the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. Following the directives of His Majesty the King and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the distribution of 6,800 housing services to the citizens, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning has continued the distribution in Salman Town, East Hid Town and East Sitra Town projects which will continue until the end of February. The ministry received the citizens nominated for the various projects within the ongoing schedule. They were given the detailed explanations about the housing units, the requirements and guarantees provided by the ministry, as well as the electronic withdrawal mechanism, types of housing units, and contract details provided by the ministry. Nasser Vocational Training Center has earned international accreditation for ICET 27001, 2022 in the domain of information security management systems and VTC executive director Dr. Abdullah Nasser al Naimi expressed pride in the center's achievements in implementing the best information security practices and VTC executive advisor for research and development in AI Dr. Yasim Haji expressed his pride in the center's achievements highlighting its compliance with the international security standards, operations, quality assurance and ethical responsibility in AI solution implementation. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority announced the implementation of 1,467 inspection campaigns and visits during the week of 24 to 30th December 2023. The inspections resulted in the detention of 38 violating and irregular workers, while 139 violators were deported. The inspection campaign's own visits also resulted in the monitoring of a number of violations related to the provisions of a number of regulating laws, especially the LMRA and the residency laws in Bahrain, noting that the legal measures were taken regarding the observed violations. The LMRA explained that the 1,436 inspection visits were carried out on various shops in all the governorates. The Easier is an exceptional Bahraini initiative specialized in developing knowledge resource center services in Bahrain and aims primarily to diversify its sources of knowledge to keep pace with the modern developments. This initiative completed, competed internationally and won the 11th place in the Mohammed bin Zayed Award for Best Teacher in its fourth edition. The initiative created an updated digital database that provides various interactive electronic services in addition to a search section using artificial intelligence sensors. Bahrain National Team there began their first training session in preparations for the participation in the AFC Asian Football Cup 2023 which will be held in Doha. Immediately upon their arrival in Dubai, the national football team went through the first training session in the camp on the grounds of Jabal Ali Sports Centre. The national team will face the Australian and the Angolan teams during the training camp. <laughs> 